<laughs> me and Sabrina used to have fights all the time. <laughs> and uh, I basically, I take credit for all her tackling. You know, she used to knock girls out in the field, laying out, and I was like, you know what? That looks familiar. They should, that, used to, that used to be me. That used to be me. Uh, so, no, no, no. She used to, so, she used to knock me out. So I, I see a little bit of, uh, I take a bit of credit, to be honest. <laughs> You know, I always said this, like, if I was not Sabrina's brother and I saw her in the street, I'd just cross the other way. Yeah. You no, know? you didn't. I, mean, I don't know, I just always think that, though. You I'm just, not even scared. Everyone thinks, that's scary. why you call Brown Bear. Yes, I always used to say, I hope I'm not up against that big girl there. <laughs> 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 and I used to say, that's my granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the hard no, copy no. for this yesterday. So it's the first book that I've ever been a part of, apart from you know one that Mum's probably made with all my photos or something. So it's my first book that I've ever been a part of. Oh yeah. Oh. You're gonna read it. Oh. Yeah, cool. Okay. The 2017 NAB AFL Women's Competition means everything to me. When I was playing alongside the boys, knowing that they had a future in front of them if they wanted it, but I didn't. That was really hard. The fact that being a girl almost prevented me from accomplishing something important was heartbreaking. But now it's all changed. Now you can hand a girl a footy and some boots and she can grow up believing she can be the first female Chris Judd or whoever they want to be. The fact that this amazing game can now be equally shared from Auskick through to the elite level is no longer a dream but a reality. Side side, side side my is trying to be Christ. It was with your minds it goes boom. It goes boom. It goes boom. Boom, 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 boom. So this is my trophy cabinet. Um, pretty much every award that I've ever gotten is in this cabinet. I actually remember this trophy because <laughs> I remember seeing it because it was the first one there was, it was a girl, not a boy, mm. on the trophy, and I thought it was really, really cool. I got champion girl at school every year but one, because I was injured that year. It did annoy me, um, because I, I, I'm very competitive, and also because a lot of people would say, oh, you didn't win all the years, kind of thing, and... You won it just <laughs> so you could say that you won it every single year. Yeah. So this is me and my first year of playing football. Um, for the Pinjara Tigers, and that's me. And I look the strongest out of all the boys. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have many girlfriends growing up. I don't know why, maybe just because I wasn't into that. You were more into like the girly stuff and I was not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think with you, like guys just wanted, well like boys, like they just gravitated towards you. Like mm. you would, like a girl version of them sort of thing. There's probably a few of the boys in that team that probably didn't like me playing there. <laughs> There's always that first thing of them being like, oh, I don't want to kick to a girl. But then you play and then their mind shifts, but it's always before you can show your ability. Like it'd be different if a new boy came into trial, like they would never think that they couldn't play. Mm. But 100%, every time I would come and trial for something, they would be like, oh, she's not going to be any good. Yeah, I think what we got asked was to draw ourselves in like five years time or something. I think that was, that was what it was and I drew myself as a footy player. So that's pretty surreal now. I mean, I'm not in an Eagles jersey, but I am in an AFL jersey, so. It's just one of those things that you never really think of. Like you dream of as a kid, but until it's happening, you're like, well, females can play, play the sport. I don't really, I never, there wasn't a day that I thought they couldn't play. I would say that's probably what I'm trying to portray, portray in everything I do. Um, just get it out there that we can play and we're not taking it, you know, lightly. We take it seriously, just like the men. Um, and we've been training for as long as the men. <laughs> <laughs>